Hello everyone. We are here in the heart of Diocletian's Palace in Split, Croatia. And we're about to take a walking tour with Dino and explore more of this amazing UNESCO heritage site. Hope you enjoy. A fountain of cascading water and a statue of Gregory of Nin mark the northern entrance, also known as the Golden Gate, leading into Diocletian's palace. It is here where we met our guide, Dino. A former history teacher, Dino's family roots in Split can be traced back hundreds of years. Dino would begin to share his wealth of knowledge about Split's history on the city's waterfront, also known as the Riva. Here, Trisha and I would learn about the construction of Emperor Diocletian's palace around 300 AD. Spanning more than 30,000 square meters, this extraordinary complex of beautiful white limestone was built as a retirement home for the Roman Emperor Diocletian. Used as a waste disposal area for hundreds of years, the lower chambers of the palace are beautifully preserved, having been excavated in 1952. The acoustics inside are absolutely fascinating. The vestibule of the palace is where the emperor would greet his guests and allow his people to worship him. From here, Dino would take us inside Emperor Diocletian's mausoleum, which was later converted into a Christian church and is now one of the oldest in the world. Ornate columns stand next to the more recently constructed bell tower of the cathedral, which was built a mere 800 years later in 1100 AD. One of the most narrow streets in the world lies next to Jupiter's temple, where an intricately carved barrel vaulted ceiling once provided a place of worship of the Roman god Jupiter. It was later converted into a baptistry. In and around Diocletian's palace, thousands of years of art and artifacts can be found including Diocletian's prized 3,500-year-old sphinxes from Egypt. Some of them are decapitated, but still hanging around. With that said, it was time for dinner at the Canova Varos restaurant. Magical aromas of a wood-fired grill and festive holiday decorations were the setting for the final act of the tour. Over a bottle of Plavic Mali from the Blato Winery on the Croatian island of Korčula, we would experience a fine selection of central Dalmatian food. Delicious grilled scorpion fish, vegetables drizzled in Dalmatian olive oil, and a fantastic cuttlefish risotto. It was an extraordinary end to an extraordinary day.